fun. I what would you guys do if I just didn't do like a little a little intro thing where I like <laughs> had a lot of coffee and was like really wired on camera? Would it be weird? I feel like it would be weird if I just was like, hello everyone, and you'd be all like, what what happened? <laughs> Where did my intro go? Just a little thought that I had as I was getting ready today. Hello everyone, I am here today to share with you guys my updated spring foundation routine. I love this look, it is super glowy, it is very natural looking. I use a ton of products, this is definitely not what I do every single day, but it's something that I really enjoy doing when I want to have more of a full coverage foundation look or my skin is just not acting the way I want it to. So, without further ado, Let's get into this. All right, let's start by getting my hair in my face. Ponytail, check. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a primer. This is the only product that I've never used before, but I was kind of curious and I wanted to test it out. It is the Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer. It's supposed to blur pores and fine lines, but hydrate and create some sort of a luminous finish. I don't know how you can uh, mattify against oil, but also have a luminous finish to your skin. I don't know how that's possible. It sounds like wizardry. So I'm gonna test this out and see if this actually works. It feels really nice on the skin, actually. I know I say this in every single video, but I really need a mirror in front of me. All right, primer is on. So in terms of foundation, it kind of depends on what I'm doing that day. If I'm just going out and running errands and stuff and I want something that has light coverage or I'm just having a really good skin day, I'll go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. I talked about this in my Buy or Buy where I talked about all the different cushion foundations out there and the ones that I liked and I disliked. It's either this one or it's the Lancome Miracle Cushion. Those two are um, some of my favorites. So um, I will go in with something like this. But I have some breakouts and some redness on my skin today. So we're gonna go a little bit more full coverage. I'm going to mix the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is a luminous finish primer. Um, I tend to use it as of recently mixing it with foundations because I find it just gives your skin this really beautiful luminous look, which I think looks really nice for the spring. And I mix it with the um, Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And this is like an intense form of foundation. It is basically all pigment. These things can't be used on their own. They need to be mixed with something. So I'm mixing with this. So it's going to be higher coverage with sort of a luminous finish. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, I am in the shade N20. I am going to put some of the drops onto my hand. And then I'm gonna do a squirt of the Becca Backlight Primer, mix it all together. And then to spread it on the skin, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. I just, I really like to use these. I always pull this out in the spring and summer because it just gives my skin this beautiful, fresh finish. So even if I want to do a more full coverage foundation like this one, it still gives it a very natural look. I'm going to pat it into the skin. I love the way that this foundation looks on the skin. And this combination to me is just, it's so beautiful and it makes your skin look so fresh and dewy and glowy and beautiful. It is really hard to talk and do this at the same time. Now for the under eyes where I have giant black under eye circles. I no sleep ever. And so I'm going to use the um, First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy, um, which instantly brightens, depuffs, and smooths um, the under eyes area. I really like this because it has a salmon tone to it, so it counteracts a lot of the dark circles that I'm experiencing right now. So usually what I'll do is I'll put a blob onto my finger and then I'll put it onto the little applicator thing and then I will smooth it under the eyes, especially if I'm experiencing any sort of puffiness um, under the eyes. This is just going to cool it and also apply the product at the same time, which is awesome. And then sometimes like today, we need a double coat and we're gonna use our fingers. I like to also apply the product right up into like the sides of the nose here because I find it gets very dark around here. Um, so getting all the way up there and then all the way down is going to make a huge difference. You can already tell like my under eye circles are just slightly diminished and they look a little bit brighter under the eye, so that's awesome. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer of the moment, that's the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. Um, this stuff is awesome, it has really high coverage but it's not too cakey either, so um, it's really, really good. I'm gonna use my fingers to apply it in sort of like a triangle shape. I try not to apply too much product under my eyes because I don't want it to get really crepey and really cakey and sit in any fine lines or anything like that. So I want it to be pretty sparse, just enough to give me the coverage that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to apply some to the side of my nose and then to this lovely zit that just appeared. So then I'm just gonna go back and forth under the eyes and just blend, 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 blend it all out. And if you have any spots, I find the best thing to do is to apply really, really light layers and then just add another layer, blend, add another layer, blend. Versus taking like a giant thing of concealer and like slapping it on your face, it's just going to look like you have a giant mountain of 
concealer on your face. And then once you're happy with the coverage, then you're gonna go in with a setting powder to set everything so it doesn't cake up on your face, settle into any fine lines or any pores or anything like that. So what I like to do is I like to apply a different powder under my eyes than I do for the rest of my face. This is the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder. I love this stuff under the eyes just because it, I don't know, it just settles really nicely. It brightens the under eye area. It just looks really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna tab a little into the lid here and I'm going to brush it under the eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte um, pressed powder and I really really like this one I think it's just a beautiful finish it's not too mattifying it gives sort of like a satin matte finish which looks really beautiful on the skin and then I'm gonna focus on setting just the t-zone area um, where I tend to get the most oily and also any sort of acne spot I don't want to apply powder all over my face because it's just gonna look really I don't know powdery and gross and cakey it's just gonna look too much so I just want to focus it on the areas that I actually need it and apply a really really light layer now on to bronzer I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer I'm not gonna do the whole contour thing today um, I'm just gonna do some bronzer and some blush keep it simple if you can if you could call this simple I'm gonna be applying the covergirl true blend bronzer I really like this it adds a little bit of a slight luminosity to the skin not a ton but it's definitely not this is not for contour don't do it. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is actually the It Cosmetics brush. I don't even know what this... Airbrush powder and bronzer. I'm just gonna apply it to the outside of the face, a little bit onto the cheekbones, a little bit along the jawline. I just wanna add a little bit of warmth to the skin. Make sure you're just adding it sort of to the outskirts of the face. You wanna keep this area really light um, because otherwise your face is just gonna look really, really muddy. And now onto blush, and I'm going to use one of my favorites right now. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush, and this is in medium rose, and I've talked about this at length. I love it, just gives a really nice, luminous finish to the skin. It looks gorgeous. I love I like to apply my blush in sort of a circular motion when I'm applying it to the skin. I just find that it looks the most natural, it looks nice and flushed, it doesn't look too streaky on the skin, especially because I'm on the paler side. And I like to blend it back into the hairline and a little bit up into the temples just by the eyebrow. And then last but not least, we are going in with highlighter and this is one of my favorites right now. I love it. It's by Ofra and it's the uh, You Glow Girl Highlighter. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. It's a very frosty, sort of a shell pink, much more on the cooler tones. I actually use it on the inner corner sometimes, on the lid. It just looks so nice. It is a very, very strong highlight though, so if you don't like this look, would not go for this one in particular, but I love a strong highlight. So I'm just going to dust it on top of the, um, I was gonna say on top of the brows. That's not the brows, Rachel. That is on top of the cheekbones, and then up along the temple just a little bit. Not too crazy. And then just blend it a little bit. You can also apply a little bit to the uh, Cupid's bow. If you wanna go down the bridge of your nose, you can do that, but it's very, very frosty, so just warning you. Oh, look at that glow. Love it. And there you have it, guys. This is my go-to look for the springtime. Just a very nice, natural-looking foundation routine that looks very bright and springy and fresh. And that is everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these types of videos. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful start to spring and also a wonderful week. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah!